Hey everybody! Welcome back to Art of War, E4 multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Line, as well as Mathis, Arumba, and Quill. Say hello. 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 Hey there. Let Let's begin our uh, our Conquest weekly episode of the world. Well, I was thinking our weekly episode where we figure out what the hell we were doing on the last one. <laughs> yeah, that's what this one's all about. The Timurids <laughs> have declared me as a rival. That's uh, that's unfortunate. Seems, seems bad for you. They're kind of far away from you, though, aren't they? Yeah, they've got quite a few people between me and them, so... Well, they're only two provinces away... Whatever, man. ...by don't sea. Me, don't tell me what I'm allowed and not allowed to do. I've taken a week to reflect on this crazy idea of declaring war while I have under a thousand manpower, and I'm gonna go Oh, and right! Do it. That's why I hadn't declared war yet. Oh my god, I almost, just, I almost declared war with mediocre manpower. You decided you are gonna do it? Yeah, absolutely. What could wow. possibly go wrong? <laughs> Just such a sweet time. Well, the only say, question yeah, is, it's, can it's, I manage this? It's good for you right now because too. Bengal has decided they wanted to go to war. So, And but, Malwa... Oh, right. Malwa just, uh, declined their call to war as well. So it's just Bengal by themselves. They were really hoping their allies were going to help them out. So I've got uh, Sunni zealots fighting Sunni... Or Sunni zealots fighting Kano peasants. Ethiopia, <laughs> you're rather large. I'm doing all right, thank you. I can't see Ethiopia yet. He's uh, stretched across the uh, this uh, Red Sea here. Yeah, I uh, I did go across the Red Sea to take over a little bit of Yemen. That's given me preeminent trading power Pre in uh, the Gulf. Preeminent? <laughs> nah, <laughs> that was pretty good. I thought so. Uh, but I'm um, I'm having an issue because the powers surrounding me are all allied to my own allies or I have a truce with them. So uh -huh. like uh, I've got a I've got a problem. A like we're all allied to the same people. It's like we got like a love triangle going on. It's mm -hmm. uh, always a problem. It's like a defensive pact. Take Pretty much, yeah. I have I the, the ability to too. to reconquest Whoa. and to re and take a core. Is that just is that a good reason to go to <laughs> I don't know what that Mathis, you got really loud like the voice of God himself for like Maybe 15 seconds and then just went back to normal. Am I, yeah. am I good or am I back to being blown out? It depends on how <laughs> when you get really excited, it just gets louder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so happy. Okay. Uh, that is, I have see. never heard of that happening before. That's weird. I don't know. I don't, new computer, everybody, just so you're yeah. aware. <laughs> audio issues are being these worked th on. These things will happen. Yeah. yeah. Don't get me started on audio issues. I've had like <laughs> 10 videos about audio problems. Oh man, I finally went and had to turn off my uh, VST setup because I was getting this weird like static pop that I couldn't, it was somewhere in the ASEO for all and it happened after I installed my new video card. Like nothing changed in my sound settings, but mm -hmm. I put in a graphic card and now ACO is all effed. I'm like, well, alright, so I'm back on direct. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm kind of pissed because I was really happy with the results. I, I might take another crack at it, but there's something is whacked. I yeah. think to use I'm the vernacular. Attack, I think I'm going to attack Bengal right now. Do, yeah, good do it time. See if I care. Yeah, Bengal's kind of hurting. I'm not. Even, I'm just going to use half my men. I don't think it's even worth using all my men on them right now. From what I see, their army's morale is so low. Okay, but do you have to yell it at us? Are you yelling at <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. What Can you turn down like a yeah. mic volume, like a uh, physical mic volume? I don't know what kind of mic you got. Um, well, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I have to do it on uh, Audacity, but if I have to alt tab to do that, I should, can't imagine. Just whisper. Uh, like Mike's <laughs> software being like, if he's if he gets loud, he wants to be even louder. <laughs> yeah. Multiply it by ten. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's actually it's just funny. It's not like you get you don't get blown out like I do when I play this after I play Counter Strike. Mm -hmm. Like you're oh, still yeah. audible. Oh no, uh, I'm not gonna attack Bengal because they're allied with Malwa. I don't want to deal with Malwa right now. Did I ever send you my uh, video about how to fix the source engine volume bullshit? You totally did. Mm -hmm. One thing you need to know about me is I am lazy is probably the polite way to say it. Uh, stubborn, hard to motivate to do stuff that I am not self-motivated to do. Yeah, that's, that's totally fair. Just wanted to make sure that I had, I had done my job as a friend and companion to you. You have, yeah. All you've, right. <laughs> the, the blame lies 100% with myself. No question. So, so wait, are you saying that you never watched that video I sent you about how to make automatic thumbnails, Northern Lion? That is absolutely true. Never watched that one. Yeah, I put a lot of work into that. <laughs> you, the, how, 
brazen of you. <laughs> you used like the data thing in uh, Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, okay. yeah. It was actually like three minutes of work, but that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot of work I don't in YouTube need world. To, I don't need to learn it as long as you keep making the automatic thumbnails for me. That's true. Yeah. See, that's you're true. enabling him. Exactly. Yeah. You are enabling me. I am. Uh, I'm. That's true. Which what, I appreciate. What you permit, you promote, right? I'm, Pretty much, yeah. I'm promoting it. Hmm. That's okay. Nothing wrong with it, probably. So I've got like a, I put together a list of all the things that annoy me about EU4 right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I'm gonna maybe make a video about it, I'm not sure. Like, they're minor things, you know, like things that could be done to make the game better. Like, last week Quill had mentioned, um, disbanding men at, at peace, returning manpower. That's a good, that's a good thing, right? So it's like a running list. Yeah, yeah. By far, though... Thing, it's not the same sort of quality of life changes as some of the other things that we've wanted. Right. But it's like, eh, it kind of makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah. Well, and it also makes sense compared to, like, Victoria 2 and stuff, but... Yeah. Um, by far, the, the biggest one is the not being able to go to war when you have a Regency Council. Right, just right. drives me crazy. Maybe it should just uh, be a stability hit. I could see that. Minus one stability declaring war while you have a Regency, because your country's not as stable, and like, I don't know if we want this boy king to lead things. Yeah, sure. That I would totally buy that. Sounds good. Sold. Patch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Patch it, ship it, sell it. <laughs> Am I yelling at you? A little bit. No, you're actually all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not I'm too looking worried. at my I'm looking at my audio spikes on Audacity, and they're much larger than they should be. It, it's not so bad actually, most of the time. But you probably in between episodes, you'll want to sort it out. Yeah, I will fuck mm -hmm. with, fuck with things. I will also fuck things. <laughs> all right. Well, you know, that's maybe wait until they're all done. Oh, manpower. You don't need manpower to declare war. It helped that I had a 500 gold uh, war chest, so I just burned it all on uh, Mercs instantly. Vaginagar is not long for this world. I'm sorry to hear this. You can't say, like, you can't eat them in one bite either. I don't think I can eat them in one bite, but, I mean, after this war, they're not going to be very much of a power at all. You're going to be freaking, you're going to have, like, almost all of India. Well, no, India's pretty big, but you're going to have, like, all of southern India. He probably will have enough to actually form Hindustan if he wants to. Yeah. I, I don't know all the countries, but I bet. Mm-hmm. It's not that many. It's just, like, three or four above you that you have to take. I, I remember looking at the requirements, and they were being pretty big. There was a lot of countries I needed. But you also get claims on, like, the rest of India. It's really, really good. I'll look at it after. But you'll need Tech 10 for that. Pretty much all those decisions require Tech 10. Admin Tech 10, I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah. It takes forever to get to Tech 10. It's like yeah. 1,600 I'm only something. At, I'm only at Min Tech 3 right now. Might be more like 1,550, I think. All right, I think I've won my war. Nice. Yeah, I'm still I mean, short of like actually sieging all the things. My audio spikes are back to normal. <laughs> yeah, they sound great. <laughs> I don't understand. It's fine. Like the Heisenberg uncertainty principle of microphones. Right. <laughs> Usually it's everything sounds great in testing and then you go live and it's just like, ow, my ears. <laughs> so I have shared allies with people that I would like to belligerate. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you would use that word. Is it possible to goad them into conflict by like sending insults and and stuff like that of the ilk? Oh, get them to declare war on you. That's my thinking. Maybe, but they're they'll they'll still predict that your 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 like team allies or whatever will will defend you and they won't want to attack you. Yeah. They're not completely stupid. Well, if they were completely stupid, they would try to attack me. <laughs> I would just rather not deal with them. Oh, hey, that's or different. I, I could wait seven years. I was uh, I was unaware that when a rebel when rebels break one of your vassals' country, they'll break free. I had Sunni zealots that were breaking one of my animist vassals, and I was just thinking it would flip them to the Sunni, which is what I want. I'm Sunni, but now mm -hmm. they're independent. It's kind of weird. Gives something to take over. And gives me something to do. <laughs> yeah, like right now, I can either uh, do nothing, break all of my alliances to take over like four provinces, or declare war on the Mamluks, who have <laughs> about a force that's four times larger than mine. 
So uh, a worthy challenge for an excellent player like yourself. Ah, uh, yes, of course. None of my allies would join me in uh, an offensive war against uh, the Mamluks. On the seventh, so we move on the six. Go, go! Break these Lang Zangian forces. <laughs> Lang Zang ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> Better recognize. <laughs> exactly. Oh, How do you guys feel about marketplaces? You like marketplaces? All right. Maybe I'll build some of those. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty Trade good. buildings are usually pretty good. I'm I all realize. about the armories. Armories all over the place. No, armies are armories are lame, dude. I'm sorry. When you're conquering for trade power, like islands have a tendency to be really important, right? Yeah. Okay. Depends. But a oh. lot of them are pretty good for trade. Uh this one is uh, it's a little better than average, I guess. I don't know if it's worth landing a uh Having to deal with building a transport and stuff like that. Ugh, boats. I know. Well, you know, I don't mind building boats as long as they're all barks. <laughs> That's exactly what I do. I never build anything but, but light ships. <laughs> That's what I have. My entire navy is light ships. And you, you know the best way I think that they could fix that to make, like, at least for me, to make me want to build other, other types of boats is just give every boat some trade power. Make light yeah, ships yeah, have, I like, agree. five. Have heavies have, like, 0. 0.5 or one. And then... Mm. At the very least, I don't feel like it's a wasted piece of force limit. Yeah, just like they have the um, uh, the light ships are better at sieging. Right, blockade strength. Because of sail, sail speed. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, uh, use their speed or something for trade. Right, it's not like so, yeah. you can't... It's kind of ridiculous you can't use a transport for trade. I mean, <laughs> isn't that the idea you trade with... No, we only hold people. Yeah. No goods. I think my mic's blown out again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Way out. I don't know what the problem is. Use That's your inside really voice. Good. The audio spikes are really big. Stop <laughs> shouting at us. <laughs> you know what it's probably doing? The quieter you get, the louder it's trying to make you. <laughs> it's probably auto-adjusting your volume. Yeah. Huh? Uh, oh, maybe in Skype, which will do that by default. In Skype. I will, oh my god, what yeah. the fuck? By default, Skype will do that. All right, that's something I have to toy with. Just listen to the voice of God for now. <laughs> Remember, I told you... <laughs> Before I was like, click that setting in Skype, and then everyone said, "Oh, and don't forget to check the Windows setting too." Right, you and didn't lost the focus. But didn't you also? You went to Windows Eight, which is the real issue. That is that is the real. <laughs> I use Windows like, Eight. My, uh, my volume's back to normal. Yeah, yeah you sound good now <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> oh no! But yeah, hey, everyone, and welcome to EU Four. We talk about mic settings. <laughs> yeah, didn't they? Didn't Microsoft announce like Windows Ten though, and they're gonna do like a free upgrade from eight to ten because eight was yeah, so bad? Yeah, essentially. Well, eight is just like I like eight. You want your computer to look like a tablet? Well, there's. We that. thought you did. I like, could have let them out of the war. Do I want anything from Avaya? Do I want to separate piece them out? I have so many questions. So I've seen a lot of pot shots taken at Microsoft over going from Windows 8 to Windows 10 and skipping Windows 9. Oh, but you know why they did that? Yeah, it's really kind of, it, maybe not great. clever, but an interesting tidbit is that when programming the Windows that came out in the 90s, like, well, specifically, I guess, 95 and 98, they had, like, these if statements to check if, what? like, Windows number equals 9 something. It's not them, really. It's lazy third-party programmers. Oh, really? Yeah. If you go in, like, even something like SourceForge or whatever, you can, like, search for that string. But, yeah, they're like, if if it starts with Windows 9, whatever, then, yeah, do this kind of code. So if they had Windows 9... That's crazy. Break all these things. <laughs> Pretty these are shitty programmers. <laughs> Sounds like it. They probably have that code in their own stuff, too, but... I know it's a lot of third-party lazy programmer stuff. It's the same thing in the web design world, the way people try to check to see what kind of browser version people have. Instead of checking to see if a browser can do something, they just check, is this Firefox? Is this IE? Is this whatever? Right. And then it leads to really weird behavior. See, somebody was, uh, I think it was Kelvin, was actually explaining why it's Windows 10, and it's something to do with the kernel numbers, that there's an actual like logical reason why it's called Windows 10. I couldn't explain it. He did, but... Apparently, technologically or something, it makes sense. You know what? I'm fucking sorry I brought it up. You know, I feel like an idiot. 
Well, I just got to keep talking or my mic's going to change. So. <laughs> <laughs> just try to talk as monotone as possible. <laughs> the opposite of what you're supposed to do. Be, be boring. No, noted. <laughs> Oh, Vaginagar, you want peace? Too bad, bitch. Okay. I... I'm confused. Why Does anybody have less than one? the Ava to cede a province to me? Less than one what? Less than one score? No. Do you? I have one. I have exactly one. Oh, Quill, what place are you in? 73rd. Oh, suck on this! 72nd, baby! Nice. Come <laughs> I'm no, 70, I 77th. Can't, I can't figure out. I've, I'm yes! occupying a province, and I can't... In a separate piece with these guys, I can't ask them to cede it. Is it but full it, annexation? It, it, it's not, oh, it's the capital. It's the goddamn capital. I'm an idiot. Goddamn right. capital. Ignore me. <laughs> just being dumb. Eat it, vagina gar. I love eating vagina gar. It's just gross. So, if Bengal, who are attacking Ava, take a province away from them, it will shrink them down. I might be able to separate piece them out. For vassalizing. Would that be crazy? Probably. Yes. Oh, there was like. I was in such a diplomatic conundrum trying to figure out how I was going to get this uh, vassal to plus 190. I was already at max relations. Then one of their neighbors diplomatically insulted me, and there was an option to like either take that as a CB or every other neighbor gets plus 60 opinion. Oh, nice. Yes. Diplomacy. Mom, get the camera. <laughs> Alright, there's gonna be a lot of rebellion soon. 360 full annexation. <laughs> no scope. There was no scope involved. Well, there was a massive global scope. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Alright, Bengal. Peace out. Take the province. What could I... Let's see. Jeez. They... I could I could eat a really big chunk of them. Oh, there we go. I think I'm making more money as Ethiopia right now than I made as uh, Prussia at the end of the series. <laughs> well, well they, they brought... A lot of people are saying that trade's kind of broken in this patch, that it's probably going to have to get nerfed, because everyone's making so much money in trade. I say I'm sitting here. I have a bank of over a thousand gold right now. What? <laughs> I'm sitting on so much cash. How did that? Happen? Oh, you're you're also like plundering all of the countries that you take over. That's true. I think part of the money thing too is the war operations were added, which is a really cool feature. I think yeah, war operations is cool. I like that. It's pretty sweet just taking like you know ten percent of a country's income for. Is it the length of the truce? Uh, it's ten years. And, okay, so not always. Usually, well, no, the truce length is five to fifteen, so it's usually not. Yeah, it depends. Mm. Costly trade embargo. What? That is so excellent. <laughs> I lost a rival. That's weird. S strange situation that the Mamluks actually like me, even though we're great. Well, greatish powers close to one another, but I can't ally them because of our rule. Right? Got it. You'll be home by Christmas, boys. Almost done. Those are some confu confused uh, rebels. Hey, how's your war going? Did you oh, already finish it? Yeah. Oh, Bengal won, huh? Yeah, no, it was great. They took two provinces away, so that means I could uh, full annex uh, the Ava. I could have vassalized them, but then I remembered <laughs> I'm currently sitting at eight of four relationships. Yeah, I'm overly on my relationships as well. Break my marriage with Siak actually to save a point. It'll cost me a stability, but I think that's going to be well worthwhile. Well, almost at military points. tech seven. That's actually frightening. Guns, baby. <laughs> All right. Well, you don't have to get so it's ornery a baby. about it. You have it's to guns. yell about it. God. Overextension. One, two. I don't. Yeah, I, I got to be careful with overextension here. No. I could just maybe make them my vassal. No. <laughs> no, I'll probably eat most of their southern, uh, the northern part of their country. Leave the rest for another time. It'd be sweet if you could make Hindustan so early. 
All right, minus three unrest guy. I <laughs> love you. <laughs> well, that's kind of weird. My favorite. Oh my god, already? It's kind of weird. I just uh, won a war, a reconquest war for a vassal, and I transferred the sieges to them, and then I full annexed them, and it gave the land to me, even though they occupied it, and it was their core, and it was their CB. Oh, Rude. yeah, but full annex will do that. It's weird, though. It should have kind of known what I wanted here. Well, do we want to wrap the episode up here? I'm good. Yeah, we can. I think you need and to go work on your sound. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, yeah, that's what I was going for. Okay, one second. Let me do one thing. All right. That's I, need, I, got I, like, to, I got five, a rebellion to crush anyway. Like five days. Why am I improving relationships with Dolly? Who the hell is Dolly? Dolly oh, Martin? up here. Well, I guess that's a fair relationship. I don't suppose they want an ally. Oh, I already have an alliance. Oh, good. Excellent. Everything is great, guys. <laughs> Um, I gotta go talk to fake Germany? I think fake that's what these colors Germany? were. Oh, Kaga okay. Ryung. Their flag is very... It's got the black, red, yellow thing, and I can't remember. We had the discussion last time. I'm pretty sure whatever we decided the flag was, it was wrong. I think it's more German <laughs> than Belgian, or something like that. Listen, those stripes all look the same to me. I'm flag racist. I've been okay. playing... Oh, so we'll, we'll talk about it in the next episode. But yep. uh, for now, uh, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Check out multiple perspectives as we are strewn across the world here. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.